Alright everybody, it's Cynical Commander here, and today we're back at the MiG-21 BIS, or also known as the Fish Bed, and we're going to be talking about landing. Um, so as you can see, the aircraft's slick right now. We've got the Georgian colors on, and we're in active pause. Uh, I wanted to keep it in active pause so I could teach you how to do things. Uh, we'll turn the radar off there, because we don't need it. And uh, we are going to put the throttles to idle. And we're going to just let her slow down. Uh, if you were to put out speed brakes at this distance, and I'll show you we're coming into Katasi. We're about, oh, let's see how far we are. About 11, almost 12 miles out. Okay, so if we put the speed brakes down now, we're going to end up messing herself up. Because as we can see, we can't really even see the runway. So I'm gonna come out of octopause, and we'll talk it, talk through it. I'm gonna trim just a little bit, keep the aircraft from sinking so bad. And we're just gonna let her slow down. On her own. Keeping her about oh 500 knots or so. We can get down to 400, but she starts to sink pretty good at that point. So just keep trimming as we come down. See if we can see the runway out there so far. And you can. It's right there. So we're going to come on down. There's the runway to our left. We're going to turn on our landing lights. Go ahead and introduce the first stage of uh, flaps. Now in this aircraft, when you introduce the last stage of flaps, it will not go into afterburner. So keep that in mind if you're trying to, if you're too low or something like that. Um, and you need to pull up uh, or go around. So we're just keeping our little dots there on the runway as we would any other aircraft. And we're going to increase power. And we're going to put the landing gear down. And make sure we return that handle back to neutral. And we're coming in. And we're increasing power. And we got a little too low there. Oh, we're skimming that tree. And we're coming in. And as you can see, we're down. And we'll go ahead and deploy the chute. And we'll start to break. Now, as you saw, we started dropping heavily. Like I said, when you drop that gear and you drop those flaps, uh, I generally don't ever land on full flaps just because it's too much for this plane. This plane really, really sinks. So, it may take you a couple of times before you actually get the hang of flying the aircraft. But as you can see, we didn't bust the tires. Um, when turn our taxi lights on and uh, we didn't we didn't bust the tires and uh, all is well the aircraft is in one piece and that would be the full flaps we only did the first stage but in the full flaps and I, I don't know if I said this or not when you're coming in you can't go into afterburner so you saw how we were sinking so fast there and we were still doing like 400 knots 
uh, maybe in like 450 knots, I had to pretty much go into afterburner to get this thing up so we wouldn't hit the ground or hit that tree. Uh, and then right at the end, I didn't say it, but I hit the speed brakes for just a second and then pulled them back in so we could land. But it's it's a lot of practice with this aircraft to, la to land it uh, and land it safely. Um, Otherwise, you'll go spinning down the field and, and don't use your brakes until that parachute is out. Let that parachute slow you down because you'll go spinning sideways and everything else down the field and uh, all that good stuff. So we had our nose wheel brake on, something else I forgot to mention. But we did have that on and to slow us down. So once that aircraft gets, gets slowing down, we can go ahead and tap those brakes, you know, and I was just doing this and I'll show you from the brake just tapping them till we slow it all the way down and then I can then you can apply pressure to, to you know go ahead and stop but hopefully that was helpful for you and uh, get you where you can you can land the aircraft and uh, she's a joy to fly once you learn her she's quirkier than other aircraft but uh, she is fun to fly um, goes through fuel like crazy but uh, good good old Cold War plane and uh, she's one of my uh, favorites on the Cold War servers. So hopefully that was helpful for you. Like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.